the, the best in the world, and I'll keep my heart all day. And thank you for giving me all the toys so you get kissed. When Spring Hill resident Jack Asbury isn't saving lives as a Sumter County paramedic, he puts on another superhero uniform and brings smiles to children who are fighting for their lives. Our news caught up with the Cape Crusader earlier this week to find out more about this local hero. So you decided to go out and, and buy this uniform and start putting this persona on yeah. as the Batman of Spring, uh, Spring Hill? Yeah, Batman right? of Spring Hill. Yeah. Okay. When you see their face when you walk in a room, what is that like? You can't help but smile. Mm -hmm. It's it's immediately. Um, it, it, it's hard. It's it's really hard to contain it. It really is. It's it's nothing like you've ever experienced. The seeing a, a child just light up when you walk in the room, uh, and then sometimes they'll be quiet, and you'll hear the parents like, "Oh, he's never shy." So like, it's it's a really cool feeling. It's something that. Uh, you, you can't experience it. It's a normal day-to-day -day thing. Then you said you started basically because your own children were going through some illnesses. Yeah, right? uh, my oldest daughter was born uh, at 27 weeks. Um, she was two pounds when she was born. And then my youngest daughter has a blood disorder. And we were in the hospital with her in and out for close to a month. And then I got the idea of bringing my character to the kids. Because uh, like I said before, if the kids forget that they're in the hospital, then it also works for the parents too. Yeah. Unfortunately, one that we just helped earlier this year passed away. Um, so hoping that we make a difference. And I've, I've seen kids for, since I've been doing it and they still come and see me. So it's, you know, it's really cool. Uh, but I'll go to anybody who needs a superhero. It, it, they don't have to be ill. Okay. Um, the one story that I had go viral in 2019 was a friend of mine, uh, her youngest daughter was being bullied in school. But I knew that she liked superheroes, so I reached out and like, hey, if it's okay with you, I'll walk her to school to see if, you know, just so the kids like, hey, she friends with, with Batman, and then ever since after that, the, the bullying stopped. So the, the one kid that I just seen, Colton, um, I actually met him two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and with kids, I'll always tell them, like, I'm friends with your parents. If you need me, just let them know. And it was the grandfather who reached out, and he's like, hey, Colton asked me to reach out to you. He he's been diagnosed with leukemia mm -hmm. so I'm like yep absolutely I mean maybe not in public but do you sometimes find yourself you know uh, breaking down quietly on your own is that is that how you know the, the pain kind of gets to you so much sometimes and, yeah sometimes yeah. the it, it's bad to say but because of my work I kind of know how to to deal with it right you know um, one child that I did see his name was David he's passed a few years now mm -hmm. um, that one was hard because the family asked me to come see him when they knew he had maybe a day left, mm. you know? Um, so that was one of the harder ones. And on the way home, I, I broke, I immediately broke. Wow. Um, and actually my wife just joined up with me as Wonder Woman. And uh, when we went to Washington DC, she got her first hospital experience. And she was just, at first she wasn't sure if she was going to, but when she did it, she's like, She's like, I love this. She's like, it's, it's incredible. When the ones that I go see that I know are really sick, I tell them to keep hope. Um, being a superhero doesn't mean you have superpowers. Uh, it's just showing courage. You know, I don't go into the, I don't give false hopes. I don't go into anything like that. I just, words of encouragement, really.